All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series, guys. We are on the overstressed SMP server playing the overstressed mod pack. That's right, it's a special mod pack that we've created for the server. And guys, I'm very excited about it. I've already died, unfortunately, trying to get out to our little island over here. This whole island that we can see, I still need to explore up over here, uh, is all ours. Uh, now, right in here, actually, there is a zombie spawner uh, down below, which is very cool. And then I just discovered that we have a guardian temple over here. So that will be fun. But yes, um, this is our island. I plan on making kind of a harbor port um, like city slash town here it's not gonna be very big it's probably gonna be like here it's gonna be a lot of like ports and the harbor around the outside around the outside and uh yeah it's gonna be really cool uh, one of the biggest uh draws to this mod pack we have uh, is that we have create in this mod pack uh, so we are able to do some crazy things with create very cool very technical uh very appealing to look at i haven't really done a whole lot with create so I'm super duper excited to be playing it and being, uh, being able to play with a bunch of really cool uh, people that I've never actually played with before. Uh, so I will have all of their channel links down below. Uh, but here is the zombie spawner right here. Um, as you can see, we've got a few lingering around somewhere. Uh, yeah, but this is it. This is how I took it out. Um, yeah, very cool. So I'm going to be doing a lot of resource gathering. I don't plan on doing a whole lot of vanilla stuff with you guys. Uh, probably going to be doing a lot of building time lapses. I did not want to be here. Do I have any blocks? I don't. There was like, because I had set up right, right up above this area and there were probably 15 to 20 zombies down here and like two creepers. And so I am, I'm a little nervous about... <gasps> Dropping down. That was an Enderman. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to collect some coal and try to go into that. But yeah, so I uh, was welcomed onto the server uh, by Dad's GMC or Dad's GM or Dad's MC or something. Uh, he's a very cool guy so far. It gave me uh, some tools, uh, even an iron pickaxe. Uh, let me know where everything was. Um, very cool guy. I unfortunately, didn't get any footage of that because it was right away and he had to go pretty quickly. Uh, so unfortunately, couldn't get any footage for for you guys to go and check out. Uh, but did kill a few cows. Don't tell anyone. Um, I don't worry though. I did leave the the babies alive. But yeah. So I'm gonna be gathering up some uh, materials here. Uh, I probably won't record anything for the rest of today. Gonna do a lot of clearing out here. Probably build a medieval looking base to be a part of. Or not to be a part of, but to uh, make my my first base, and then uh, probably be back with you guys, um, you know, playing some some Minecraft. It's gonna be sweet. All right, guys. So it has been a little over a day. Uh, we're back here towards our area. I've done quite a bit of work here, mapped out some stuff. We got our starter house built over here. Uh, here's our zombie farm that we were talking about a little or a little bit ago. Uh, yes. Yeah, so just very basics here. Um, bred up a bunch of cows, killed them, you know, grew a bunch of sugar cane. Um, so yeah, we're going to be not really focusing on that today. Just wanted to get a infrastructure built up real quick. Uh, it didn't take me very long to do all of this. Uh, but yeah, here's our storage room. Uh, testing out this, uh, this chest storage design very early. Uh, so it's got a, you know, your, your sign, then an item frame behind it, and then you use blocks to kind of pop out. Now it's great and all, except for like tools. Um, so yeah, that's the, the system we're using. I'm definitely liking it, um, though this mod pack allows us to edit signs, and that's a little interesting, so if you misclick, you can hit this. Uh, so other than that, it's pretty cool. Got our uh, enchanting setup over here. Uh, found this super cool sawmill. Did a little bit of exploring, found out we have, you know, that village over here, but then we also have this one over here that I haven't explored yet, which is super cool. So, very excited, but uh, let's get into what I really want to do today, and that's get into the create mod. There are a few things we need to go ahead and create. Now, I really want to go ahead and make these goggles, because this will really tell us how to do things. But, uh, yeah, we need a golden sheet, and the only way to get that is to press it with a mechanical press. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that just quite yet, but we will be able to use a water wheel. Um... Now, if we look at the natural landscape, you can see there's kind of a hill here. Uh, my plan is to actually terraform this hill a bit more, make it much more steep with kind of a platform up top. 
Uh, so kind of in, encompassing this all around and kind of have like a lake feature and then have it over uh, like flowing down over here uh, and, you know, running a, a water mill. So we're actually going to put the water mill over here. And then if you're wondering about this, I actually want to go ahead and make like a three story tall building uh, that will encompass all of this. Uh, maybe make this like a little tower and then have it over here. So the building will probably come from like here and then kind of go around and then the entrance into the zombie farm will be down below. It'll look, it'll look good. Trust me. Uh, we might even need to move this over here if possible, but you know, who cares? We'll be able to get that solved. No problemo. So let's go ahead and get into uh, the first part, which is actually making the the, the water mill. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, water wheel. I said water mill, didn't I? Okay. So this is our target. We need to make these andesite uh, ingots. Now, the best way, in my opinion, is to do that is instead of wasting the iron, we use the zinc ingots, and we can turn those into that, um, into the, the nuggets, and that's what is used for the andesite ingots. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of those. Cool. That is going to require a lot of andesite. I believe there, yeah, there's a few ways. If we find diorite, you know, cobblestone, um, we can turn it into it. Oh. Are there multiple recipes? Nope. Andesite, cobblestone, stone cutter. I guess the best way, ooh, flint, gravel, and a little bit of lava can be compressed into andesite. No heating is required. That's kind of cool. A basin, interesting. I don't have any ability to do like anything with that just yet. Uh, so let's make up the remaining amount, and then we'll turn everything back into zinc. Perfect. All right, so we've got almost two stacks of the andesite alloy, which is fantastic, but we're gonna need a lot of wood. And don't worry, we got the all of the wood covered. Uh, I set up quite a big tree farm for a while and then did a whole bunch of terraforming. So the tree farm kind of died and I haven't set it back up yet. But we will be trying to automate that with, um, with create. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so we got a couple large cog wheels. I don't want to use all of my, I almost shift clicked. That would have been horrible. Um, but we're going to turn these into slabs and make a couple water wheels. That sounds good to me. Okay, so we're going to grab a bucket as well. Oh, we'll grab two. And then, yeah. Let's go over here. It's going to be very basic at first. It's not going to look very good. Don't worry. Probably in a live stream or something like that, we'll go ahead and make this thing look a lot better. Um, but I want the start of this. We're actually going to terraform this to kind of be a little bit steeper. Give us a little bit more room to the left of this. Maybe even put a building in between us and this. Um, but yeah, we're, we're definitely going to put a, a windmill on top of that, which will look great. I just, I just want to say... I'm super excited about that. I don't know why I'm terraforming. This is all temporary. Okay, so this is how we're going to set it up. Now, are these directional? Yes, they are. Um, now, we want to go ahead and set this up in a C, like a C pattern, so the water flows over one way, flows down here, and then flows back. That's the whole goal of this, uh, because that'll give us the biggest yield for... Uh, rotational stress, I think what it's called for this mod. Uh, this is the first time I'm really using it, so bear with me if I don't know all the terminology just yet. I promise we're going to be experts eventually, because this mod, uh, just it seems pretty neat, you know? Okay, where did... Well, we got, we got phantom blocks. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so I don't know if we need to place them. I don't know if we need to place it here, if it would be best. Well, we need to place it like this at first. I do believe, man, I should have brought more blocks. I mean, I got, I got wood, but I don't got any dirt. And that's what we're basically testing this out. Basically a testing process. So if that flows there, I have no idea if that is efficient or not, unfortunately. And I, I don't know why you can do that. We'll just make an infinite water source up here if we don't want to play play nice. 
that's a little overkill. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, f f f in a finite water source. So I place this like that. Okay, I'll do this real quick. All right, so all the water is flowing over, down, and back. Um, now that's with it, you know, these guys are, are facing up and slanted to the right. Now these ones are up and slanted to the back. And it still seems to work. However, I don't know if it has a direct, uh, you know, improvement slash non-improvement of the water wheels. Um... Yeah, so we're, I guess we're generating the rotational stress right now. So we need to make a few more things. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. All right, so I'm pretty sure our next target is going to be making this gearbox here. Uh, this will, I believe, turn, or, wait a second. I believe it's actually called a bearing. Is there like a water wheel one? Hold W to power, to ponder. Go bearing. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. To a rotating contraption. I think this is what we want. Well, we can. Let me let's let's test something. We need to make a few of the the shafts. I believe. Yeah, we have the ability to make that. Okay. So we're gonna make that. We're gonna make this gearbox. You guys are probably screaming at the. At the screen, I'm doing it wrong. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll get it right. All right, we'll make one of those. And then we need to make these little guys. Perfect. Okay. So there's a gearbox. Let's... Ooh, my voice just cracked. Do you hear that? That was crazy. So let's get some of the wood out of inventory, even though we're going to need it in a couple moments here. Oh, if you guys are wondering what these cobblestone paths are, they're 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 paths. You know, just just figured I'd, I'd I'd clear that up. So if we break this block, I believe yes. And so then if we put a gearbox here, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I want to go ahead and put this in between the two. Probably gonna leak water all over the place, which is okay. And then eventually we're gonna turn this into glass. But what if, oh, let's test something out. So we have the two of these here. Hmm. Now is it because it's set on two or can you not place it like that? You can't place it like that, okay. So these need to have a three block gap in between them. We can manage that. Okay, so we're gonna be like this here. We're gonna put shaft there, shaft there. And then one, two, three. Ah, there it is. It is hiding from me. All right, so we can start out with putting the water here now. Oh. Maybe, oh, what if we had it going the other way then? So say, we had it spinning like this. Okay, so that seems to actually be working. Uh, so we're we're spinning it this way and we're spinning it this way because uh, it is a gearbox. So that means this one is spinning the opposite direction so that we're, I believe these produce like 120 or something like that of their the power for that. Uh, but yeah, so this one's pushing this way, this one's pushing this way. So that means we should have double the power coming through here. Uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, ooh, didn't didn't even finish that off. It means we should be able to get some uh, like stress rotational power to some items. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, this is rotating. Pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, so our goal is going to be to make some brass. Now, eventually, we will put this into a building. These guys, maybe, or we'll have. Uh, this be the the create building where we have all of our machines for now we're just going to use this um so we are going to need to create uh, another machine a mixer so we might have to make another one of those gearboxes which will be fine we have the, the materials to make those um but let's see here so to make the brass ingots we need to combine them in a mixer while it's heated here by this blaze burner so we're gonna need to make a blaze. wait a second all right, so a mechanical press is what we're making next. 
This is our guy. Okay. This is good. Oh, this will allow us to make the goggles too. So we have everything for that. So I guess we're going to see how machines like this work. Okay. Bam. There we go. Let's get another gearbox. We need two more of these guys. Hey, what's up, little guys? All right. So gearbox. There we go. Let's give it now for this guy. Um, the items just need to be below. So I think we can like chuck them onto a block or something like that. Is, is, am I understanding that correctly? So what about this? Can we just straight up? That works. Okay. I mean, it's working, right? So we're going to do this. Oh. Squish. Oh. Look at that. It is squishing them. Press goes bonk. So, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. The plates are made. The Okay, and then... So we definitely need to make the goggles so we make sure we're not like pulling all the power out. Um, I didn't see, are we able to pull? Oops, that's not the right thing. Are we able to say do this? <gasps> yes, we can still use centrifugal force power except for going, this is a gearbox. So it looks like straight is the only one for that. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so all we got to do is for our other machines, we're just going to place this here so we can split it like so. And then we can put the press uh, like this maybe. Yes, just like that. Okay. So now we can use that. Let's go sleep real quick because it's getting dark and spooky. Okay, so with those, with those, with that gearbox, we should be able to make the goggles. Yes, we just need to throw a little bit of gold under there. We're gonna make them. I'm excited, and I can't hide it. All right, so even with the split, let's see if it can still do it. So boop, oh, bonk. I love it. Absolutely love it. We love to see it. Okay, so with this made, now we can get the giggles. Right, what do we need? String and two glass. I've got one. Okay, so now, yep, there are the engineer's goggles. Does this work? No, we gotta switch these. Yes, okay. So let's go take a look now that we have those. Should be able to, you know, see some cool things. All right, that's kind of stuck down. Okay, kinetic stress impact 80 SU. That's what it's using, and this is making 160. Ooh, 160, 160, 160. Okay, so 160 times six. That's almost. That's just. That's 40 under a thousand. So we have plenty for this guy. Uh, so we don't really need to worry about him. Does that go? No, vertical one. There's a vertical version of that that'll use it. Okay. So we have the goggles now, which are amazing. We're able to see how much we're producing. We got the wheel. Uh, yeah, let's look at making this mechanical press so we can get into some brass uh, because that will kind of open up the rest of the mod to us after that. We'll be able to start getting into some really advanced stuff. So um, let's see here, the blaze burner, two of those, two iron bars. All right, there we go. We got an empty blaze burner. I believe this is like a furnace if I'm not mistaken which is fine okay so here we go we need a mixer and a basin so basin we can actually make that right meow basin and what are you a linear chassis oh my gosh uh, we're gonna make a specific thing here this is gonna be for the create mod and yeah all of our create stuff is gonna go there Boom. So you go there like that. Okay. Got the basin, the mixer. Okay. So we have everything but the whisk. So we need five more iron plates. 
All right, and then what was the top guy? Okay, two andesite ingots. Perfect. So let's go ahead and grab some of those, and we're gonna we're gonna boop them up. Bonk. 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 I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm sorry. All right, so there we go. There's our five extra smushed, smushed things. All right, we can make the whisk. Perfect. All right, and oh, well, we don't want to use the one that we made already. Oh, we just need some wood. Perfect. That makes four, okay. So there we go. Mechanical mixer. Interesting. I wonder how this thing works. All right, so can we just place it like this? No. How about like this? I would assume you need to get to the top and move it around, right? Let's hit W for wondering. Oh, so we need a gear guy like this. Okay. We got the, the cog wheel, so we need to make a vertical. A vertical guy. Okay, we can do that. Let's make a vertical boy. You there. Yes. We just made a... I can't talk. We just need to make another gearbox. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And then, are we out of the cogwheel? I believe we are. Now we're not. All right, so I wonder, does this have two sides? Yes. Let's check this out. I got myself an idea. So I put the vertical gearbox. Well, I lied. I don't really have an idea. It's not that good. Okay. I don't need any seeds, so we're gonna chuck those on the ground. Don't don't tell anyone I'm littering. All right, so like this. Now, can we just straight up put this? <gasps> we can. Okay. Okay. So that'll still do the pressing. And then, well, actually, it'd be a lot nicer if we could go up a block. So like this, then like this. We're actually going up two blocks. Bear with me. Oh, we need another vertical boy then. Well, not necessarily, because we can do that. Oh, that's the press, whoops. We need to put him down here. So I just want to test this out real quick. So if I put this, oh, yes, it mixes. That's so cool. I wonder, can you just straight up put the, the cog wheel on it? You can, very cool. So then the mixer's there. Put the basin here, recipe filter. Ooh, that's interesting. And then down below we have the empty blaze. But if we put items in that can be, sp whoop, that ain't right. Okay, how do we use that again? Right click blaze with the empty, oh, we gotta go to the nether. Let us go capture uh, Mr. Blaze. Cool thing is, is that we spawned our, our base here is right next to another fortress. Like, I'll show you how close it is. Bam, right here. Pretty crazy. It's pretty easy to find blazes here, so I'm excited about that. Unfortunately, there's no close blaze spawner, which I'm kind of sad about, but, you know, we can make do. All right, so we're... Where are we going? Oh, that's trippy. You got just lava that's not flowing. 
Okay, so we got a blaze over here to our left. Looks like maybe over here up top. I caught him. <laughs> oh man, now there's another one down there. We're gonna get burnt. Better eat. Charge! We can get him, everyone, if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Ooh, he missed. He did. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We got the blaze in here. He's, he's looking... Oh. Okay, so... What do we need to make for the... For brass? Is it brass or bronze? It's brass. Okay, so we need copper and zinc. Um, we got zinc, yes. I, I For a second I thought I had gotten rid of all of the zinc I had collected. We got a decent amount of copper. Um... Let's do 16 each, and we'll sleep. Okay, so I assume we just... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a torch. All right, so we did the mixer. Uh, hold W, right? Oh, maybe it's a bit too low? Mixer with basin craft recipes can be automated, okay. Oh, so it's not rotating with enough speed. Is that show? Hmm. All right, so what do we need to make it run a little bit quicker? Um, it's just straight up not going fast enough. All right, so to get that increased speed, we're going to go ahead and make a few encased chain drives and an adjustable chain gear shift. Uh, this will double the speed of the chain drives. Uh, so the cool thing is, is that we got a lot of these materials already, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, so here we go. We got these guys. We're going to make a total of four. And then you. So we need a large cogwheel and an electron tube. Um... Sandpaper. It's literally... <laughs> it's literally sand and paper. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, we have... Oh, I'll leave that. We have plenty of paper. Oh, you can make it here. Very cool. Let's go grab some sand real quick. All right, I'm going to grab three just in case. Now, do these stack? They don't. That is unfortunate. Okay, so we need to make the crystal shard real quick to make that electron tube. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, do I have any quartz? I think that is a no. All right, so let's actually, it was a bad idea to get rid of my fortune pickaxe. There we go. Let's go to the nether again real quick, grab some quartz. That's like the only thing I haven't been collect. Oh wait, no, I do have quartz, I lied. We have quartz in our nether. Our nether items, yes, only four. That's, that's four more than awesome, I guess. All right, oh, that's gonna require a lot of redstone. Uh, but I think we only need one. So sandpaper, do you place it? How do you use the sandpaper? A rough paper that can be used to polish materials can be automatically applied to the developer when used. Oh my gosh, that was so stinking cool. I thought I crashed the game there for a second, but we didn't. We're good. Okay, so we have that rose quartz. Uh, so now we just need a redstone torch and an iron nugget. All right, so redstone torch, that's easy peasy to make. What is this? A scones? A what? A scones? Scones. Oh, that's 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 sick looking. That's gonna be great. I'm gonna make a lot of those. Okay, so we have that. We can make the electron tube. Perfect. Uh, so now we need an case chain drive, which we do, uh, and then we need a large cogwheel. So we're gonna need four buttons. One, two, three. Four. Wow, we got plenty of buttons. Gonna need some wood. There we go. We should be able to make the big boy. Bam, big boy. All right, so that's adjustable. Uh, we're gonna need to make a lever here really fast. And with this, oh. With this. 
we can now go speedy boy. Okay. So we're gonna mine all of this stuff. Sorry, Blaze. Hope that doesn't ruin you. Okay, so what we're gonna want to go ahead and do is. So there we go. Well, I wonder. So what if we were to place this guy here? And then these two. And then we go up. And we put the torch on there. Or the lever. And then we grab the vertical boy. There we go. And so now, where did the cog wheel, there it is. So bam. Okay, so these are moving faster. Um, so let's place this guy here. And then, oh, nope, nope, that needs to be the cog wheel. Cause we're gonna break this dude. Okay, so he's moving, he's still moving pretty quick. Place you here. The mixer here. Uh, the blaze boy here, and then you on top. And so if we toss, whoops, where did that go? I don't know. Did that make it in? Okay, yep, so we got the, the copper back. Okay, so those are there. Uh, still not rotating with enough speed. Another tube. <laughs> We're going to make it even faster. Uh, so grab this guy. Going to need a bit of redstone. Actually, I'm going to cut all of this from the video. Okay, so clearly that didn't work. So let's go ahead and make it better. So then we'll place this guy here, and then this guy. And I forgot to, to bring a, a guy out. Uh, I forget the name of it, a lever. I, did, I actually wasn't expecting on having to make two levers. Probably could just link them up together, but that is way too much work. And what are those? Diving boots. A pair of heavy boots swimming better, trans, oh. Wimbler sinks fast forward and cannot swim. And to be able to walk and jump on our water. Oh my goodness. That sounds terrifying. It's like the, the iron boots from, from Zelda. Okay. So here we go. Right, so now this is even faster. Bam. Now we go up one. We take our cog wheel. Place it like this. Take our mechanical user at current speed. I believe this is working then. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So it's only using 160. That's it. That's not bad at all. Uh, now, I do believe when you increase speed, you do sacrifice a little bit of torque. That's the case in real life. I don't know if that's the case in this game. But, uh, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to give him some charcoal to think about. That little blaze under there. Come here, buddy. You want some food? How much? He's gonna take all of it. Okay, cool guy. So 16. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, <gasps> there we go. Mixing it up. Look at it. Look at it, guys. It's just mixing. Oh, it's done. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got some brass ingots, dudes. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. What can we use with this? We can make a brass tunnel, like secret tunnels, you know? A brass lantern. That's actually cool. A funnel. We can make a block of brass. That's so cool. A wand of symmetry. For summary, perfect mirrors, perfect mirrors block placement. 
across configured planes. Creates or moves the mirror, removes the actual... What in the world? Refined radiance? Oh my goodness. Superheated. A blaze cake? What is that? Oh my... We're not even close to doing that, but that looks interesting. Um, so other uses for this guy. Um... We can make the furnace engine. Okay, so I believe the plates are what we want the most. Uh, yeah, smart fluid pipe, mechanical arm. Yeah, mechanical arm, a smart chute, a brass hand. What is a brass hand used for? A deployer? Let's ponder this. All right, so folks, given rotational force, the deployer can imitate player interactions. It will always interact with the position... Two blocks ahead. Block strike in front. Do not obstruct it. Holy crap. Okay. Goes through blocks. Place blocks. Use items. Activate blocks. Harvest blocks. And attack mobs. <gasps> right click the front. Give it to item to use. Oh, so it can place things. He inserted automatically. And it, wow, automatic flower placer. Carry filter slots. Okay. Use shears. <gasps> can you shear sheep with it? Oh my goodness, that is cool. What is that? Non-matching items will be... Oh. Put a conveyor belt and take that away. That is cool. So every time it eats something, bam. Okay, so we can use it there. What about... Let's ponder this. A mechanical arm. All right, so it's going to use the rotational thingamabob doohickey. Right click inventories while holding the arm to assign it. Blue and orange input output. Left click components to remove their selection. Okay. Once placed, the mechanical arm will target the block selected previously. Oh, that is cool looking. Oh my gosh. Okay. However, there are not every inch of line where in place directly. Funnels and depots can help to bridge that gap. Okay. So sword comes out of there, gets put in. So it's it's spinning pretty fast if we're looking. Like it's moving. Okay, well, that is amazing. That's going to go ahead and wrap up the video for today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you click on that playlist so you can check out some more videos from me. I hope to see you there.